Area law enforcement officers training for a situation they hope to never find themselves in. And that would be violence inside a church. Marsha Bonhart, work for you tonight, asking you about that training. Marsha? Well, law enforcement wants to help increase the level of security at churches. It's a pledge that one local church could have used several years ago. The parking lot at Christ Temple Apostolic Church in Trotwood is empty and quiet, a stark departure from the night in September of 1998. That's when a member of the congregation during a midweek prayer service shot and killed the elder, Andrew Lofton. But we have to take precautions. We have to learn to do things, think things a little differently. Wayne Morrison is senior pastor at a church in Eaton. Thursday, he attended a workshop sponsored by officers involved with the crime fighting group Miami Valley Crime Prevention. The focus is to help churches like Christ Temple Apostolic increase safety. I've been up here for about 15, 20 seconds. What am I wearing? What color is my shirt? What do I have in my belt? Keep your eyes closed. This was part of the initiative to strengthen security at local places of worship. But there's no community that is immune to crime. Certainly some areas have more or more prone to crime than others. Dr. Ernest Scales is now the elder at Christ Temple. He was at the church the night Elder Lofton was murdered. Not willing to go now on camera, but here are his words from 1998. What we have received from God uh, is a relationship, and our relationship is not based on totally exterior things. No matter what happens, he says, faith has to remain intact. And despite worldly obstacles, he says, God is in control. The pastor from First Presbyterian in Eaton says, all churches want to remain sacred places, but in reality, the congregation has to feel safe, and that means security has to be increased.